It's Brewbird. Welcome to the Distilled Kitchen where we're making British dishes and cocktails because every good dish deserves a good drink. The Borders Distillery where I work is located in Hoyk. That's right, it's pronounced Hoyk and not Haywick or Hawick. Hoyk is a relatively small town with around 15,000 residents according to Google. The most popular breakfast food here is the bacon roll, also known as the bacon bop. There have been many a debate on what constitutes the best bacon bop, but for the most part, we can agree that the best bacon roll is served on a soft white bun. It can't be crispy, crunchy, or doughy, as that just delays the time for the bacon fat and salt to get into your system. And we're all about instant gratification here. I initially thought the bacon roll was overrated. After all, it's just a buttered soft white bun with some rashers of bacon wedged in between. How amazing could it possibly be? Then I tried one. And yeah, I still think the bacon roll is overrated, but it seems to be a staple in everyone's diet here. So that's what we're making today. First, we'll take out the outer casing from the black pudding. Then we'll preheat our grill, setting it to high heat. Next, we'll line our baking tray with tin foil to catch any fat drippings and protect our pan. We'll put on the Lauren sausage and black pudding first for a minute or two in the oven, and then put on our four strips of smoked back bacon, and turn the bacon after two to three minutes with our chopsticks to get each side nice and slightly crisp. Meanwhile, we'll cut our soft white buns in half and generously butter both sides. I have our meats ready here, so we'll put two rashers of bacon on this one, a slice of Lorne sausage in this other roll, and for our last roll we'll jazz it up by putting a slice of black pudding with our two rashers of bacon. Some people like to squeeze some brown sauce on the rolls, but I prefer mine with ketchup. The meat is quite salty by itself, which is why we didn't add any seasoning when we were cooking it. The salty and crisp bacon contrasts well with the sweet ketchup and soft buttery roll. It's a nice roll, but we'll need to make something to wash down all that bacony goodness. We're pairing our bacon roll with iron brew, Scotland's other national drink besides scotch whiskey. Iron Brew is a soft drink that was officially launched in 1901. Today, we're making an adult version of an Iron Brew, or a hip version of a gin and tonic, depending on how you look at it. Making this gin and brew couldn't be simpler. First, we'll cut a slice of orange for our garnish. Then, we'll pour 45 milliliters of gin into a wine glass. We'll fill the glass half full with ice, and top it up with a can of soul-strengthening iron brew. We're getting the best of both worlds here as we get the subtle floral and citrus flavors of the gin. But instead of the bitter quinine taste you get from adding tonic water, we get the sweetness and fizziness of the iron brew. Lastly, we'll drop in a slice of orange as a garnish and we're ready to dig in. Cheers! Bacon rolls and iron brew are a pretty common food and drink here in Hoik. I prefer the one with bacon by itself, but it's nice to change things up with a Lauren sausage or black pudding roll too. All the meat here is greasy, but the Lauren sausage and blood pudding feel especially heavy, like they really stick to your gut if that makes sense. These bacon rolls are just not photogenic at all, no matter how I try to orient them. So I'm going to give up now on trying to take a nice picture and I'll leave you with this unappetizing shot of my bacon rolls while I go off to eat them. Alright, see you next time. Mm -hmm.